Hello and welcome back to day three of the Thankful for 30 challenge. I hope that you are loving the first two days of this challenge. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. I alluded to a little bit of this yesterday where we were talking about dropping that more mentality, but today it is going to be your actual homework. Yes. Former teacher, even though I only taught SPED in early childhood and I never gave homework, this is my chance to give you some homework, but don't worry, I'm also gonna be doing the homework with you. And that is, we are going to spend some time today writing down everything, and I mean everything, that you achieved, everything that went well this year, all of the wonderful memories that you have, so many things that maybe you haven't taken the time to do. I'll be honest, I haven't sat down and written down a list of all of the things that have gone well this year, all of the things that have gone right, all of the blessings that have happened in my life that maybe I didn't ask for, but I am so thankful that they happened. So that is what we're gonna do today. In the event that you are like, why, why are we doing that? If you didn't watch yesterday, I need you to go back and watch it because I think that that will help explain a lot of it. But just to quickly recap, if you are in a place of negativity, if you are in a place of lacking confidence and just not believing that you can, that you're capable, you are going to have a really, really hard time moving forward in this life or achieving any more goals. It's really, really hard to want to work towards something when you are lacking that confidence, when you are lacking what it is that you already have in your life. So by doing this, you are going to be taking some time. You are going to be focusing on all of the good. We are like wired, hardwired, I swear, to immediately jump to the negative, to immediately think of all of the negative things. I don't know about you, but there are certain like groups of people, family members, friends, that sort of thing where I swear, if I don't have a negative thing to bring to the conversation, I feel like awkward almost. Like I feel like I'm the weird one when I instead would love to talk about how much I'm loving my health journey, how much I'm loving subbing, how much I'm loving getting to work on different things, how much I'm loving getting to put videos out on YouTube. You know, I love all of the little work pieces that I have in my life. I love so much of my life. And so a lot of times if I don't have something to complain about, I feel like the odd man out because I swear there's just so much like camaraderie that will come and be built on negativity. And I wanna be a part of a group that is here to share the wins. Now, I'm not saying life has to be beautiful and perfect and all rainbows and you know unicorns. But what I am saying is when we only focus on the negative, it tends to breed more negative, right? It puts us in a negative mood so then it makes something else bothers us and something else bothers us. Prime example, let me, let, me, let me list this one out for you. You're running late for work, right? Somebody cuts you off as you're driving down the highway, you're even more annoyed. You get to work and somebody says something to you that maybe they didn't mean too bad, but you immediately, because you were already in a bad mood, took it bad. Then you realize you forgot your lunch. So now the world is just like so frustrating. And then you have to go sit in line somewhere and sit through the drive through and it takes forever. And so then you're late for that afternoon meeting. Do you see how it just is like negative, 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 negative. Meanwhile, if you were in a more positive space, sure, you could have still been running late for work, but maybe because you're focusing on the fact that, you know what, hey, I am late for work, but I'm not gonna let it ruin the rest of my day. You're focusing on the fact that thankfully you have a vehicle that's gonna get you safely there. Thankfully you have a job. Thankfully you got to take your kids to school and even though you were late and they were late, you still got to spend that time with them in the car or whatever that looks like. You got, you got to reframe that. So then by the time you did get to work or by the time that person did cut you off on the highway, you're already like, you know what? It's okay. You do you, man. You ain't gonna ruin my mood today, right? So if we can start and we can really, really focus on the good, all of the wonderful things that have happened so far this year or in life in general, right, previously, what has happened, what you've achieved, really sit back and think of all the wonderful memories you wanna make sure that you take with you as we're closing out this year. And I know that we're only at November 3rd, right? So we still have, you know, basically two full months, but those two months are gonna fly because we are in holiday season and I feel like the holidays absolutely fly so fast. So before you know it, we're gonna be at the start of a new year and I want you in this frame of gratitude and just so much thankfulness for this year that we're getting to live so that you can take that and automatically be appreciating everything that happens to you in the years to come as they happen. Instead of having to sit back and maybe reframe all of it, 
do it right here, right now. Take that time. And I would love if you would be willing for you to share some of them in the comments below, because I would just love for us to just be able to read each other's wins and achievements and just feel happy for one another. Like let's create that community right here and now as we're right here doing this, right? So that is your task for today. Your homework assignment, if you will, from teacher Lisa. And I cannot wait to sit down and do this myself. I've got my notebook right here and my plan is to do it the moment that I hit stop record. And I cannot wait because I just know I'm gonna feel so good afterwards. Also, definitely encourage you to play like a good playlist, like some music, maybe you put on a favorite TV show or movie, get yourself something to drink, whether that's coffee, wine, water, you know, whatever your drink of choice is make it a kind of a vibe, like have some fun with that, get in some comfy clothes, like really think through that. Maybe get your pictures out on your phone and start scrolling through some pictures that you wanna make sure that you're like, you know what? I've been meaning to print these. I'm gonna go ahead and get these printed so I can put them in a frame or whatever that looks like. But make it a whole thing, right? It deserves to be a whole thing. And you deserve to make it a whole thing and to really spend that time appreciating your life and what it is that you've achieved. So. That's your assignment. I cannot wait to see what you think of it. Let me know in the comments below. And that is all I've got for you on day three. I cannot wait to see you tomorrow. I love saying that. I really love saying that. Cannot wait to see you tomorrow for day four. See ya.